Lesson 2, uh, Chapter 1, uh, Photoshop for Grade 7. The duration uh, of this lesson is for one period. The software used is Photoshop. And the objectives of the lesson is to discover the different tools you may use in order to make your drawing. In addition to a small project you will do with the brush tool. Uh, this is a very important lesson since uh, students will discover for the first time the tools they will need in order to work with this uh, software. Uh, so we'll start by uh, of course you as teacher launching the Photoshop program and then after to start showing them uh, the tools. The first thing you should tell your student is in case they launch Photoshop and they did not see the toolbar on the left they go they should go to a window and click on tools look how now it is uh, disabled so window tools and here we have all the uh, tools to use for Photoshop this is first second if they are searching for a tool and they can't reach it or find it so they have to know that for each tool there is a small uh, triangle on the left bottom on the right bottom uh, corner of the tool they click for one second and they will display all the hidden tools behind this tool so here if we have the brush tool behind it we have the pencil tool and the others if we select or a click on the uh, magic one tool we have the other one if we have click on the rectangle marquee tool we have all the other uh, selection uh, tool that we have this is what we try to explain for the students so in this lesson we will discover the main tools you may use to edit uh, images in photoshop look at the toolbar of photoshop examine the arrow existing on the right bottom corner as we see here click for one second on the arrow in order to display the hidden tools and once you click on the hidden tool uh, on the right arrow uh, triangle all the tools are here so I'm, I'm not going to list them you can do this with your student but it's very important to master this skill since uh, they will face many problem if uh, it's not clear for students and then after I go on the bottom of the uh, toolbar I have two squares the first square is for the foreground color and the back square is for the background color and of course we have to keep in mind that for each tool uh, we have what we call a sub menu I mean uh, if I click on the uh, uh, eyedropper tool look at the sub menu how it will change according to the tool selected if I click on T text I have a sub menu for the text where I can change the size I can uh, change if it's strong normal I can change the uh, typography here as you see I can change the orientation on the left on the right and of course I can change the color of the uh, of the text I want to, to, to draw so uh, this is uh, really important to start with okay and for the colors of course if you want to change the color for the foreground you click you select the color you want from here you can change uh, the shades as you see and then from here you click and once you click OK the color is selected I pass to the second page where I uh, show my students on the right side of the screen the menus I have and as you see here we are explaining the character menu the paragraph menu and the layers menu 
we have the, the, the character menu, the paragraph menu, and the layers menu. For the time being, do not detail those sub-menus. At least, let's say, open the, the text menu as I'll show you here. And from here, you can click on the uh, uh, typography, the spacing, the uh, size, the distancing of uh, letters and the color. And that's it. Don't go uh, too much deep in this detail since we'll, we'll make it later on. And then after, once you explain them uh, a little bit uh, uh, how those menus on the right will, will, will function, you will go to a small project where you will create a new document in Photoshop width equal 2000 pixels, height equal to 1000 pixels and resolution 200 pixels per inch. Then after you, you are asked or the students are asked to open the brush tool and then to start creating a, a form. Here we, we, we propose uh, five pictures for students in order to get them inspired. But of course they can do whatever uh, th they want. And uh, uh, we remind them that for the brush tool uh, we do have the appropriate uh, sub-menu uh, where we can, let's say, if we, I take the, like here, the brush tool, I can choose uh, the style of the brush. If it's normal, uh, creative, uh, clear, uh, uh, so all those are options that students can try while working. Okay, the opacity of the brush, if it's op opaque 100% or it's transparent, and uh, the other uh, uh, detail. Once you have uh, uh, this, uh, this document and the setup you made, you can start by uh, drawing, uh, let's say, if we want to make it like this I can create or make it bigger so uh, it's up to you to to make to choose the color the width and the effect in order to make the drawing that we proposed so at the end of this lesson uh, the students learn many many uh, skills uh, first by discovering the toolbar and how to display it and and hide it all the hidden tools in the toolbar, the foreground and the back background, the sub-menu of each toolbar, and then uh, the text and the paragraph and the layer uh, sub-menus uh, and their location to create a new document and to manipulate the brush tool with all the properties of this brush. So that's it for this lesson, uh, good luck.